as the early tetrapods evolved into the first amniotes, there were some modifications of the pectoral girdle. Most noticeably, the clythrum bone was reduced so that the amniote pectoral girdle was composed of a larger scapula, a prochoracoid, a clythrum, clavicle, and interclavicle. In general, the first amniotes used their arms to support more of their weight on land than did the early amphibians, and the arms are visibly longer, larger, and with larger muscle attachments. However, they are composed of the same bones as were found in the limbs of the early tetrapods, and so, for example, in an alligator, the arm is still composed of a humerus, a forearm composed of a radius and ulna, carpal bones, and it seems the early amniotes possessed 11 small carpal bones which could fuse or be modified in some lineages, five metacarpals, and then a variable number of phalanges, apparently two, three, four, five, and three was the ancestral count of phalanges on each of the five digits 